Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the praise. Let God be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Lord had me to warn the singles. This message is not for couple. So it's not for everyone. But if you are a couple, you are listening. You have seen go around you, share to them. Share to them. This is a warning. <laughs> this is a warning. This is not just God said I should warn you. This is a warning. A very strong warning to the single. And to singles who want to be settled. Whether you are a single mother, you are a single father, you are single, but you want to be married. I hear this word. God said, be careful. He said, be careful because the Lord showed me a man. And the man is innocent. And women are fighting over him. So, <clears throat> it is okay to admire somebody. But it is wrong to put hope on someone. The fact that you see somebody like this, the way you are seeing me right now, does not make that person to belong into in your life. There are many people who will not like this. The Bible says that any man that find a wife, find a good thing, where is the dignity? You must tell yourself you are a good thing that needs to be found. It didn't say you should be looking for somebody to come and find you. You only have to pray for the right person to find you because you are already a good thing. Hallelujah. You are already a good thing. Then why put your mind on a particular man? If it is not this man that will marry me, I cannot get married. Who does that? And you are a child of God. Let the man be an apostle. Let the man be a prophet. Let the man be a, a businessman. Let the man be a business uh, tycoon. Let him be a daughter, a lawyer, whatever profession he or she is, an entertainer. Don't get carried away because of what they do. Because all the glinters are not gold. Am I speaking to somebody? All the glinters are not gold. Hallelujah. People are fighting over a man, and these are believers. They are putting hope over a man, an innocent man who already, who God have already put somebody in his life. And said, this is your wife. Because you are seeing the person like this. Oh, you are seeing the person on social media or wherever you are seeing the person. The person is, oh, I love you people. I love you people. It doesn't mean that he's not saying that he loves you in the place of marriage. The person might just love you because he's a man of God. He's loving you from a sincere place, the love of Christ, not the other way around. Be careful what you listen to. Because people now, because they know what you like, they will use it to preach to you and you will fall into it. You are a good thing. Take this as a warning. This message, it might not be for, but the few people that this message belong to, they are getting it. Put your heart right. Put your heart right. The time that you are using to focus on this man, maybe this is the man. Oh, this is the man. The man is just living his life. This is the man. God said they will find you. They will find you as a good thing. Use that time to build yourself. Learn art, learn different kinds of things, how to do designing, so whatever it is. Do some courses online. 30 hours courses. Acquire some certificates. Bragging rights as a single lady. That is what you should be doing. Bragging rights. 
when the man now finally found you, you will tell the man, I was ready. The man will ask you, can you, do you know how to cook? You are, ah, yes. There is nothing I cannot cook because I've learned it. Ah, do you know how to do makeup? Yes, I know how to dress people. I can do that because I learned it. Ah, wow. You know how to draw? Yes, I can do this. I can do that. Then the man will put respect on your name. A good thing. A good thing. Ha. Ah, you are a good thing. Man will not come and mess with you when you have your stand in life. Prayer will do a lead you when it comes to marital settlement. Because marital settlement is not just a bas a bas spiritual aspect of life. The physical is involved. Building the physical aspect, our territory, it is involved. So you want to follow, ah, ah, and your kingdom spouse is on top of the tree. Go and bring him down. Your kingdom spouse is crossing the river now. Go and uh, uh, follow him to cross the river. Your kingdom spouse he, he, is in your dance tent. Your kingdom spouse is in your neighbor. If your kingdom spouse is your neighbor, you don't even have to know if he's your kingdom spouse as a woman. He will find you. He will find you. You see why I don't talk much about this marriage stuff? Because I can't lead anyone astray. Marriage is not a child play. I've been married for so many years. Maybe you don't know, I've been married for so many years. Yes. I'm in my late 30s now. My late 30s now. Almost over. I've been married for many years. I had my, my first child when I was 27. And that child is going to be 13 soon. So don't think that when she speaks, she don't know what she's speaking. I know. You might look at me very small, but I know. I know of what I'm talking. I know about, I know what I'm saying. It's not a child play. play. There is no perfection in any marriage. There is no perfection. No marriage is ever perfect. But as a woman, where are you standing? What are you bringing to the table? What are you bringing to the table? Men are not looking for liability. Men are looking for women who can stand their ground. I love it when ladies can brag right. There are single ladies who can brag right. I said, yes, I earn six-figure income. I work. This is how I started. This is how I did it. There is a lady I, 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 I come across. This lady was teaching, was teaching. She's a single lady. She was teaching <clears throat> in a daycare. She said, she said to herself, if she can do it for others, she can do it for herself. And she started her own. It leads you something. From her own, it become 13, 13 places that she has now. So that is bragging right. Now, it is men that are finding her. She had to choose. Yes, she had to sit down and say, okay, God, this one came, this one came, this one came. God, which of them? You are there. They are there. I saw some things that shake my head. There are some things God revealed to me. If I say it, people will run. They will take it as an insult. They will take it as an insult. So I will just pray. I will just be praying and I will use prayer to cover it. I will turn the prophecy to prayer. Especially when I'm praying. <clears throat> this is a warning to the single ladies. And the single men. You cannot be looking for the Mrs. Right. Why? You are not a right man. You must be right to find a good thing. I don't know why I have to act, why I have to like concentrate on women in this message. Because when I hear this, the man that all of them are just admiring, dreaming about, oh, they can oh, I can't imagine staying with him. The man is just doing his work for God, just freely doing his work. He's not even thinking about that. Because God has already put in his life somebody to settle with. You have to do something with your life in order for Mr. Right to find you. There are women who don't look for husband, look, husband look for them. 
because of how they have built themselves. Forget about being a single mother or a single father. You are not the first person. You can be happy again. You can find somebody good again. But build yourself up. And stop putting your mind on one particular person. Let God bring them. If God did not bring them, live your life and said, okay, this is how God wants it to be. Keep praying and keep holding on to the Lord, not how the enemy wants it to be. I pray for you that the right person will find you. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelisera. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.